Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and this is part of my Garibay Technology Series, and uh, this video is going to be how to avoid getting viruses on your computer. So I'm very, uh, I'm a pretty techy guy, and so uh, very frequently, I'd probably say once every month or two, I get a question from somebody in my family or a, fa uh, a friend of the family or somebody through my church. They have a virus on their computer, and they need help with this situation, right? Very, very frequent, very, very common, okay? And so what I'm going to talk about is is just understanding viruses and how to avoid them, right? Because, uh, and, and I have a pretty unusual take on this. I don't go the same route as a lot of people, right? So one, I don't install virus software on my computers. Um, and the reason why is it's almost impossible to stop viruses. There, you know, there's just so many of them out there. Um, it's almost impossible to stop viruses completely from getting on your computer because you just when you use the web, when you use the internet, you go to a lot of different sites and a lot of different actions, uh, do a lot of different actions. But there are certain things. So what you want to do is you can't virus virus software doesn't work. Basically, people are making new viruses far faster than people are trying to stop viruses, right? So and always and basically all they have to do is wait for whatever uh, all the virus people creating viruses need to do is just wait for whatever new hack has stopped the last virus and then they just end, end route it, right? So it's almost, it's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle and you're never going to be able to stop new viruses from being created, right? So what you want to do is you want to you configure your using of a computer to lower your probability of getting a virus and then you also want to change the way you use a computer so that if you get a virus, it doesn't matter, okay? And these are the two parts that I'm trying to communicate with this video, right? And if, if people understood this before they came to me, it would be vastly better. <laughs> but, uh, but And so that's what this video is for. Hopefully people will listen uh, and, and, and kind of try to save themselves some money and some time and some headache, right? So here's what you want to do. One, the, the secret to good virus protection is Wikipedia. Wikipedia. All right. Very, very important. So Wikipedia is the absolute number one site on the Internet, in my opinion. It is awesome. Right? It is totally free. Love that. It is valuable. It has tons and tons of information and content that is useful. It is probabilistically correct. Right? And when it comes to viruses, they are the best model. Right? Basically, you want to understand Wikipedia. And, and, as far, and whatever site you're going to, as far away from that as possible, you will understand that as far, if, as, as far different from Wikipedia as a, as, as a site is, that it's more likely to give you a, a, a uh, it's more likely to give you a virus, right? So one, basically, I don't end up on a lot of uh, small sites. I go on Wikipedia a lot. I go on Facebook a lot. I log on go on Google Plus a lot. I go on YouTube a lot, right? And I consume content through those sites. And the vast majority of those sites are 100 percent. All of those sites, in my opinion, are 100 percent uh, uh, virus free. Right? The problem is when you go off to some little jank site, some little local site, some site that somebody created, that's where you're going to get a virus, right? And so here's what, here's what gives you viruses. One, uh, here's what, every single one of these will cre increase your probability of getting a virus. If it's a porn site, well, almost 100% porn sites will give you viruses one, almost 100% of the time. Just understand that, right? Almost every single porn site out there, they, they will give you a virus as quick as you could possibly imagine. Don't go on porn sites, period, all right? So uh, second, um, basically international. The more or farther away you are from your own country, uh, and, and, you know, basically often that, that's going to be a, a, a virus site. Uh, basically Russia, uh, a lot of their coders, are the number one country in the world for virus coders is, uh, is Russia, right? So, um, so a lot, basically, you know, the farther you are away from a local site, uh, the more likely you are to have a virus. So international is a sign of it of being a virus site often, um, if you're American, right? Uh, that, that's what this video is for. Um, basically, I'm sure there are people who can inform people who are in Europe uh, better on how to avoid viruses there. So, um, and then additionally, um, basically, and here's the biggest one. Uh, well, this one, one of the top ones, pop-ups. If you see a pop-up, that is a virus site, and you will get a virus from it. When you see a pop-up, close that site and never go to it again, ever, right? Pop-ups are old-school crud crap that comes from uh, a day on the Internet where people just didn't understand. 
And right, ne right now, what, never, ever, ever, ever click on a pop-up site, right? A pop-up link. Never, ever click on a pop-up link. Almost 100% guaranteed will get you, a, get you a virus, right? And also, you need to understand that whatever site allows a pop-up ad uh, really doesn't care about you as a user, right? In fact, and they really don't care about security, and they really don't care about design, and they really don't care about providing value. Right, so it should. So a pop up should scare the heck, heck out of you. You should close that site and never go to it again. And whatever you needed from that site, do a Google search to see if you can get that content um, in another way. Another one is pirating. If you try to pirate anything, that's a very very good way to get um, to get uh, viruses. Torrent sites, um, watching videos on sites that do not have the copyright to get a video. A number way, one way to get a to get a virus, right? So all these are are very good ways. So, and basically, uh, Wikipedia is the model. The closer a site looks like to Wikipedia, and Wikipedia, uh, uh, it, the more the less likely it is to have viruses. Here's another one: when you are on a site, look for the company who owns that site on Wikipedia, right? If you can find it on Wikipedia, and it's actually a real a real company with real employees. You can visit their. Uh, you can visit where they have their headquarters, and it will say on Wikipedia where their headquarters is. That site is less likely to contain a virus, right? Because they have to be responsible for it, and they can be found, right? And so Wikipedia is one of the best tools for avoiding uh, viruses. Use Wikipedia, right? And so look for the site. Uh, you know, look for the site's name on Wikipedia. Look for the company that owns the the, the site. If you can't find the company that owns the site, don't use it. Right, and that's another thing is uh, you know there's a lot of content I would like to have. Um, I like uh, tabletop role playing games, and uh, some people use uh, PDFs, right? So what they'll do is they'll not buy the book and they'll get a free PDF. And there's sites that you can go to to grab these things for free rather than paying forty or fifty dollars for a book. But there's really a cost, and that cost is going to be putting a virus on your site, right? So you got to do without a lot of times. Stolen music, stolen uh, stolen books, all those kind of things. Price is a virus on your computer, right? Here's the next part. Do not keep any data on your hardware, right? On your on your C drive, right? So if you care about something, put it up on Google Plus. Uh, I'm sorry, not Google Plus. Google Drive, uh, Gmail, right? They'll, Gmail will hold tons and tons of content. It's very hard to fill, actually, right? Um, and so if something's important, put it on. Gmail. The exceptions to this are any banking information and any social security information. Do not put those on the internet anywhere, right? Uh, but other than that, if you have a picture, post it to a site, right? If you if you want to keep the picture yourself, you post it on Google Plus and just make sure it's not public. You can do that, right? You can put it up on Google Drive. Google Drive is a great way to store stuff. Completely free service. If you want something, if you want to keep something, do not keep it on your C drive. Because basically what ends up happening then is you end up having to pay someone to get the data off of your hardware. And then what the saddest thing is you often have to pay more money than you could have bought to buy a new computer or even half the money you would need to buy a new computer. So I don't keep anything on my, on, on my C drive. You also want to, now the exceptions to this are photos, right? Actually, tons and tons and tons of photos. You want to get a selection of photos, put those on your social networks or just put them on Google Drive, right? But if you want to put tons and tons of video, tons and tons of music, and tons and tons of, um, of, of photos, and you don't want them to be public, you've got to use an external drive for that. So save them onto an external drive, right? Not, don't keep anything on your, your, on your computer. You should be able to pick up your computer, uh, dump it in a lake, and not lose one scrap of information. That's how I, I configure all my information, right? So uh, your computer is junk. The real value is the data, right? Um, basically, you can have the hottest computer in the world. The day after you bought it, it's worth half of what you bought it for. And any time after that, it's worth maybe 10%, probably 5% of what you originally pur purchased. Computers age so quickly that they're really junk. The real value is your time and your data. So you want to keep those secure. So that's the way to avoid um, getting a virus on your computer and how to keep your, your data safe. That's my take. Right? If you do want to install a virus software, Avast is a very good virus software. You can get it for free. You can do the install on that. Don't pay for virus software. Use Avast. It's free and it's excellent. Thank you.